Welcome to the Artistry of Outlander costume exhibit, currently found at the Paley Center in Beverly Hills. I'm going to take you on a little walking tour today. Half of this footage is from a live Periscope tour I conducted on Friday, June 10th, while visiting the exhibit. The other half is bonus footage I took on my iPhone. I'm hoping by putting this video together and putting it online that it can serve two purposes. One, as a reference for those of you out there hoping to create your own perfect Outlander replica costume. Perhaps for cosplay. And two, I hope that all of the fans that can't get to Beverly Hills by August 14th to see this free exhibit can at least enjoy it through the lens of my camera. I'm going to do my best to get full body shots from the front and from the back, highlighting all of the detail of these costumes for all of you. But there was also a lot to take in, and since most of the footage was on my iPhone, I had to split screen it so that way we could see the full body shot perfectly in frame for this YouTube video. That means you might have to rewind once or twice to see everything that this exhibit had to offer. Now, pay close attention because there's very intricate detail on all of these costumes. More so than that, each one of these costumes is a one of a kind, which is very unique for set. There's usually at least one backup, if not three, four, maybe five, because you never know what's gonna happen. Something could rip, snag, tear, you could spill your lunch on it. And could you imagine? This is the only version of each of these costumes. With that said, this is the only version of each of these costumes, which means these are the costumes they actually wore, not the backup one they never used. I have to admit, as I was geeking out the entire exhibit, and to make it even better, what you can't hear is that they were playing the Outlander music, the theme and the score, the entire time on a loop, making the exhibit much more epic. Now I want you to pay attention on the left. There was also a set design room. So what you're seeing right now are some models of the Paris sets. It was very fascinating to see the actual layouts that they put into these stages and the sets that they designed and built. Because on camera, you can't actually tell how many rooms or where that staircase leads to necessarily. Now, the exhibit wasn't just confined to one or two rooms in the same area. You'll notice on the right, I'm walking down a hallway. At the end of this hallway, you're going to see a King Louis costume. A frustrating moment from this was that some of the costumes were facing the street on the window, most likely to encourage folks to come in and check it out. But for those of us inside, we had a hard time checking out the costume. <laughs> As you can see, I'm trying to get you a shot of this one from the front. And I feel like, well, you'll see. As I walk down this next set of stairs and around the corner to the left, we're going to get the iconic red dress. And then that's another one that's facing a window to the street. Other than that, I would have liked to see more of the season one costumes. I really like to see all of those Scottish tartans. And in particular, there's two gowns that Claire wears in season one that I would personally like to cosplay in. And... That's just about it. You've now actually seen everything in the exhibits. This is just some bonus shots to get all of the detail and the full body effect. And pay attention because there are shoes under those dresses as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope that this exhibit goes over so well that 
they continue to do this possibly for season three and season four. Because if there's one thing we've learned about Outlander, it's that the costumes are nothing short of amazing with every episode. And I'm sure they're just getting started. Well, thanks so much for tuning in and watching. And I'll see you on my next adventure.